<laughs> Imagine if I just stood here for the whole video and was just like... But anyway, hello, it's Vina V here and welcome to YouTube Club. Today in this video, I'm going to tell you three bad ways how you can get more subscribers, okay? If you're thinking, what? There's a bad way to get more subscribers? Yes, there is. And in this video, I'm going to explain all. And it's going to be a bit of a weird one because I'm going to tell you three bad ways to get more subscribers but then three good ways to get more subscribers. So all in all, I'm gonna tell you six ways to get more subscribers on your YouTube channel. Now coming up at the end of the video, I am so excited. I'm so excited and I just can't hide. No, 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 no. I'm really excited because at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you the chance to win a free tripod. Yes, I'm giving away 50 free tripods, but more information coming up about that at the end of the video. So let's get straight into this, okay? Three bad ways how you can get more subscribers. Numero uno is sub for sub or sub for sub. This is such a common thing I see on Instagram, Twitter, even right here on YouTube. It's the hashtag sub for sub, which means subscribe for subscribe. And it's just the wrong way to go about getting subscribers for your channel. Because what's happening is everyone's just subscribing to everyone else's channel and it's just not benefiting anyone and I want to give you an example so you kind of really understand where I'm coming from. So say I run a beauty channel and say you've got a rugby channel and then we subscribe to each other's channels but we actually have no interest in each other's videos. I'm never going to watch your channel, you're never going to watch mine and that's all it is. We just subscribe to each other's channels, but that is it. So do you see why that is really pointless? Everyone might have thousands of subscribers, but your actual videos are getting like 10 views. So it's really kind of just distortioning everything. It's just, it's just not good at all. And I know you might be so desperate to get more subscribers at the end of the day, Hello, I make a big deal when I get more subscribers. I need to take a thank you to you actually because I've hit 700 subscribers and I'm so happy. I'm so happy to every single person that has taken the time to subscribe and obviously I feel so happy that you've subscribed and every time I get to the next 100, like 600, 700, when I get to 1000 I'll be like, oh my god, it is a great feeling. But at the same time, I only want people to subscribe to me that I'm actually gonna help. Like people that want to start their own YouTube channel, people that want to feel motivated to take action and all this kind of stuff. If people subscribe to me expecting beauty videos, like there's no point subscribing because I would never do a beauty video. I tried to do one about a year ago and it just didn't work. It was very bad. Um, so do you see my point? And I really, really hope you do. If you don't, please leave a comment below and I'll explain more about what I mean. But I just really hope you understand that, yes, it's great to have loads of subscribers and continually work hard to increase your numbers, but you want the right kind of subscribers, okay? So please do not do any of this sub for sub business. Instead, why don't you subscribe to people you genuinely want to subscribe to? So if you do run your own beauty channel, subscribe to other beauty channels that you actually like their videos, you've actually learned something from them, you actually look forward to watching their videos. Don't just subscribe to someone just for the sake of it and because it's a sub for sub and you're purely increasing your subscribers. There's just no point. Numero de, number two, is spamming other YouTube channels. This is the second bad way how you can get more subscribers. So this way actually does work because I've seen it on so many people's YouTube channels. Loads of other new YouTubers will go on a popular YouTuber's channel and be like, subscribe to my channel. I'm a new person. I've just set up my channel. Please subscribe. Go, go, go. Click the link, blah, blah, blah. And it works because I've seen some people write that comment and they have like 100 likes next to that comment and loads of people going, I've just subscribed to your channel, please subscribe back to me uh, and all this kind of stuff. So that's why this is the second bad way because it is, again, it's, it works and it does. You will get more subscribers if you do that. 
but it's just a really bad way to do it. Instead, instead of spamming other YouTubers' channels, why don't you write a thoughtful comment instead? Instead of literally just writing, please subscribe to my channel, you're actually going to be writing something thoughtful and, you know, it might help someone else just really, and I feel like I'm just going on but I, do you understand what I'm saying? Go on other people's YouTube channels and write constructive comments, feedback, and then automatically other people are like, oh, who's this person? Let me click on her channel. That's what I do. I've never gone on someone else's channel and be like, hey, please subscribe to me. Instead, I will go on someone's channel to a video that I've actually watched and I will write something back. I will write something about their video or maybe ask a question if I'm not sure. And then people will click on my name because it says Vina V's YouTube Club. They'll be like, oh, who is she? They'll click on my name and come to my channel. So that's a much better way to getting subscribers. Hey Jennifer, you are right. Oh no, your dog died. Oh, that's so sad. Anyway, I've just started my YouTube channel, so please, 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 can you go and subscribe to it? Like, do it now, whatever you're doing, I don't care what you're doing, just go on your computer and subscribe to my channel. Now I want you to decide, was that a nice thing I just did? No, it was not nice. My friend Jennifer, her dog just died, but I'm telling her to go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now again, we all want our friends and family to subscribe to our YouTube channels. And that's the kind of advice I give to loads of people when they're first starting their YouTube channel is get your friends and family to subscribe. But you don't want to be begging people. You don't want to be seeing people down the road or every time someone comes to your house and be like, please, can you subscribe to my channel? Again, that is, it just doesn't look good and it, you're just putting all your focus again onto your subscriber numbers. You need to be putting all your focus, all your energy into making high quality videos. And yes, to be successful on YouTube, you do need to market yourself, you do need to hustle hard, you do need to work hard to build up your subscribers. But like I keep saying in this video, there's wrong ways and right ways of doing it. And I don't really like calling it you know, right and wrong ways, but it's kind of just etiquette in a way. I just really want people to step away from this thing about the numbers. And I know, yes, I don't want to sound like a hypocrite, like numbers are great. When I hit a thousand subscribers, that is amazing. But our focus, we need to shift it away from the numbers and onto the quality of our videos, helping people, inspiring people, entertaining someone. If you're making videos and that makes one person happy, you have done an amazing job. So I just want you to think about that from now on, okay? So those are three bad ways how you can grow the amount of subscribers you have. Number one is sub for sub. Try these if you want, but again, you, I've been preaching to you throughout this whole video. You can try these things, but I wouldn't. Okay, so number one is sub for sub, number two is spamming other people's channels, and number three is begging for people to subscribe to your channel. Now another three good ways to grow your subscriber numbers is subscribe to people who you genuinely like, you love their videos, and then why don't you drop them a message on Instagram or Twitter and say, hey, I've just subscribed to your channel, because then you never know, they might subscribe back to you. Number two is leave thoughtful comments on other people's YouTube channels, and automatically people will click through onto your account. And number three is to ask your friends and family to subscribe to your channel. Don't beg, but ask nicely. Okay, it's Paddy time now because I am giving 50, yes, five zero of you the chance to win a free tripod. I've got some really exciting news coming up over the next few months. I'm going to be launching my own product line of tripods. So this YouTube channel is called Vina V's YouTube Club and my brand is called YT Club because I don't think I can use the name YouTube because that's trademarked and I might get sued. So my tripods are going to be called YT Club i.e. Uh, YouTube club. And I'm just so excited to give you a really high quality tripod that you can put your phone on, that you can put your DSLR camera, that you can put your compact camera. This tripod is gonna hold all different types of cameras um, and it's gonna be one of those bendy ones so you can like fix it to anything. You can put it on your ceiling, you can put it on the window frame, you could be out on the park and fix it to a bench. So I'm so excited and I'm giving you the chance to win one of them for free. For free! So if you wanna win one of them, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel. The link is right there. Uh, just click on it, subscribe, and then all you have to do is send me an email to 
info at vinav.com, okay? And I want you to send the link to either your blog or your YouTube channel. Now, the way I am picking the winners is nothing to do with the amount of subscribers you've got, okay? Just what we've been talking about in this video. I'm gonna be picking people who, where I can see that they are working really hard on their channel, they might be doing something different, and they're just enjoying themselves in their videos, okay? So once again, I do not care how many subscribers you have. You could literally have two. You could have literally just started your channel as long as you have some kind of videos that I can watch, okay? So that's all you have to do again click that button there subscribe to this channel and then send me an email to info at vinav.com with the link to your blog or your youtube channel and you could be in with the chance of winning a free tripod i'm so excited thank you so much again for watching this video and i will see you again next week right here